Yo, if you like the intro, feel free to leave a thumbs up on the video. Uh, this game here is against Huey in D1 MMR. Um, I was trying the same setup as the last video, but just with Scorch instead of Nimbus and Teleport instead of Ignite, because I think Ignite is better with Nimbus and Teleport is better with Scorch. Um, we got the same build, so like Eclipse and then Profane into Cleaver. Uh, and then after that, we go Edge of Night or Sundered into you know, Edge of Night or Sundered, whichever one you didn't go last. Um, and yeah, let's see how this game goes. So right off the bat, I kind of misplay. We see Hui going toward our wraiths. And so I should go straight away to his wraiths. But I'm just waiting, uh, trying to get a late ward, which is a mistake. Because as I said, it's better to ward at 120 instead of 130 against ranged champions. Um, so I'm a bit late on the ward, which means if Hui just walked down here, then he could just poke me and my lane would be like really, really bad. Because the way I want to play against Wei, or the way I guess Zed wants to play against Wei, is you want to stand in your minions, uh, your backline minions uh, especially, so that when he uses his spell, um, it would go through the minions like that and it will push towards you. Um, so right there, I walked up on purpose instead of walking away. And that's just the logic behind the first few waves. You want to make sure his spells hit you and the minions. Um, like that and that makes it so he can't really stack three waves and that's what you want um so yeah right there i walk away a bit here because i think he's level two so he might chunk me a bit too hard and the wave is already coming into me um so once you realize that two waves are going to crash then you can play more further back so i farm these minions miss one which is fine and i take w because i'm scared he's going to hit me with a spell but also i knew that I could just farm a bit with W. Uh, usually it's good to go W second against Rage Champions and E second against Melee Champions. Uh, but yeah, now he's going to get level 3. And I'll hit level 3 as well around the same time. So this is pretty nice. But after first recall, you want to make it so that his spells don't hit you and the minions. So that's only a thing for the first few waves really. Because after first recall and you come back to lane, his spells deal too much damage and... It the waves are not as, uh, or the levels are not as sensitive, so you don't really need, um, you don't really need the wave to push and stuff. You'll have like enough damage to like trade and fight. And right here, um, I kind of knew he was going to roam, but it's not my issue, if that makes sense. So, uh, as a mid laner, if your jungler's trolling, just play for yourself. Right here, Wei misses the three minions there, so I'm ahead in XP. I'm thinking to go all in on this minion here because I know I get level four. Level the cues right before I throw them as I go in. Now I'm trading heavily with Conqueror. And then I know I have Flash and E to get my W cooldown a bit lower. So I Flash E auto attack. He flashes and I W right in time to kill him. So that's kind of the Z buffs with the E cooldown. Uh, reducing your W by 3 seconds coming through. Clutch right there. We kill him and we get the shove and recall. So that's how the early game went in this one. Um, I got kind of lucky that... Way roamed I guess because he missed XP and then he actually fought me on the level 3 to level 4 which is a very good power spike that you can fight champions on um, if you hit level 4 first. So I teleport back to lane. Uh, I see my Belveth is going for the invade which is fine. I'm about to hit level 5 first so I kind of want to fight a bit. I still don't know what Hui really does though uh, except his fear. But he uses a spell there so I'm like okay well I'm level 5 so it's WEQ. Then I see Jarvan and I'm like oh no. I accidentally walk under tower to E him to get my W lower cooldown, which I think was a mistake because it made me really scared. Uh, if, I, if that tower shot didn't go through, I could maybe kill people. Um, played it a bit more patiently. But anyways, we get them both low and that's pretty much enough for us to try and dive. I just start pinging him to dive, which he does and that's great. And I can just run down the Jarvan. I wait until my W is up and also I won't take tower shots. Finish him off and take another wave and then recall because that wave there just died pretty fast. And yeah, we take it. It's pretty good. I get my pickaxe on the recall if I hit all the CS, which I do just about. Not too shabby. So something you want to do when you're really far ahead is you don't want to push the waves. You want to just last hit the minions and use the time and space from that and the control of the lane to poke, your mi poke the enemy. So right there, I just kill some minions and I go in. Just go all in. Hit the cannon as well because I was like, wait a second. And uh, yeah, and then I Q him, ult him. But then after I ulted right there, I waited a second to see if he fears me, which he didn't. So I auto attack and then I take my shadow. Um, 
But yeah, as I was saying, I, I didn't like shove the wave. I mean, I guess I did, but <laughs> I poked him and went all in. But it, for example, if I didn't go all in, I would want to just WEQ him and try to zone him off and play it patiently and slowly. Uh, slow push the wave. Don't just crash like each wave straight away. Because you can stack waves in mid lane, you know, stack two ma two waves, maybe three waves if you're really lucky. Uh, with the last hits and everything. And like the control. It depends on like the state of the game and how much control you can have over the lane. But yeah. Um, after that I just go and help grubs. And if you do something like help grubs or help on dragon, it means you probably can't recall because you are going to miss the wave. So I stay and I take another wave. I checked right there that the cannon wave is the next one. So I just go straight to base, hoping that he can't push in time. And I buy Eclipse. And now I'm coming back to lane, I can kind of show you what I was talking about a bit. I just WQ there to make sure I get those CS. But I don't push these next ones. You know, I just last hit. Wait for the next wave. You know, nice and slow. I know my W is coming up in 5 seconds. So I want to buy time for that. So I'm not shoving the wave, I'm just tethering a bit. And then he walks up too far, so I go WEQ. Poke him a bunch, ult the tower shots. And then Q. And we kill him. But right there, you can see I'm not just like shoving the wave or trying to shove the wave and, you know, stuff like that. I'm just trying to control as much as I can and buy time for my spells so that I can kill him or poke him and then kill him. Uh, right now, I'm just really fed. That's why I go all in straight away and just kill him. Um, but if you're not as fed, then you just want to do it nice and slow, you know, like multiple WEQ combos, etc, etc. And now as I'm walking back to lane, I'm thinking I can maybe just kill him again. So, yeah, this video is kind of just a repeat of me. Running in and killing Wei, but I get hit by his spell because I don't really know properly where to stand, which is pretty bad by me. And it slowed me a bit, so he gets away with 1 HP, I miss the Qs and all that good stuff. It's okay, just throw a thumbs up emote, and then walk back to the minions and push. All good. So now as I'm pushing the next wave, something you can do is you can F key or I guess just pan the camera to where your jungler is if they're doing dragon or grubs. And you can see if there's a plant, or if anyone's in the river really. So I did that right there and I knew the plant was there. I want to get the plant because I'm a shutdown and I don't want to die. And I don't want to recall. So we just get that to get as healthy as possible. And now I'm thinking, well, we could go bot. But I would rather go for Hui on this next wave because he might think that I recalled. So we just wait right here. And then we walk up. Jump on him with WEQ. Or WE, W, auto attack, Q, E, all that good stuff. He gets away with 1 HP because I was like holding my ult. Which is fine. And I'm thinking I can get the tower now, or like some platings. And then Jarvan shows up. I'm pretty sure I can kill him, so I W E, um, and then I Q, take the W, auto E. Uh, I was actually kind of scared because I missed the first W E, so I kind of knew that I needed to hit that. Otherwise, it would have been pretty close, which it really was. Um, but we get the freebie, not too shabby. As I recall, I make a kind of greedy mistake. Um, so I just buy items. And usually I always hold my teleport after minute 10. So I think this is actually a mistake. I should just drop the wave. Uh, it's very, very greedy to just TP and get the wave. Because if I keep TP, then I can TP to bot lane. And it looks like Jarvan is bot side as well. So a fight bot will probably happen within like the next minute or so. And if I have TP, it will be like really, really easy for me. Because then I can get the waves mid. And I can TP for the double, I guess, advantage if I push and I TP. Um... But yeah, I'm thinking, oh, well, I kind of made a mistake, but it's fine, whatever. Um, we walk mid, I force him away a bit, I don't want to dive because I know he's going to um, he's gonna fear me, I might die under tower, and I have a shutdown, so I don't want to do that. And my bot lane does fight against Jarvan, so that's what I was saying, I was like, ah, well, I really wish I had TP now, <laughs> but it's fine. We have a cannon wave, so it's good not to roam on cannon waves regardless. We shove that in and then we go straight to bot lane. I'm thinking I can probably kill them because I'm really fed and I have ult. And they're pretty low. I use my W straight away because I just want to gap close as much as possible. And then they just go fully in. So I'm thinking about how to open here. I want to open with W and then use E before I ult so I can get more uh, time to ult like that. So I E twice and then when I ulted my W is back up again and I W and just kill them all. Looks pretty cool. Nice little triple kill for me. And after that, I shove a few more waves, get my item. I'm thinking I'm going to go mid now, but Kogmo opts to stay mid. So I'm like, well, that's kind of annoying, but it's okay. I can probably kill their bot lane. 
since my ult is coming up in 10 seconds. Uh, I watched my top laner die, which is fine. And right here, I'm thinking, well, they probably warded the tribush, so I'm going to put my pink ward in before I enter, and then wait for it to, like, get rid of the vision. Then I think I use sweep off, which is kind of a mistake, because I feel like it shows me. I'm not sure if it does, but yeah. Um, I go and enter with W. That's usually what you want to do. The problem there was that I missed my first E, so it's a bit awkward. I'm fed, so I kill them both. But uh, if I rewind it, usually you want to open with W and hit your first E, and then you E again. So if you E twice, then your W probably will come back up again. So then you can just ult after you E twice and use autos. And then you have a W pretty much up straight away. Or you just E again and you get your W. So it's pretty strong this uh, haste build, I think, when you're fed especially. And then I take the tower, get a bunch more gold. And something I want to just note right here is when you build Black Cleaver, I think Phage and then Ruby Crystal is better than going Warhammer. Because the health is going to help you a lot. And the movement speed is also going to help you when you hit someone, with his Conqueror build especially. So yeah, that's just a small note. As I'm running bot here, my bot lane kind of starts trolling, hitting the dragon. Uh, I tell them not to because the jungler is around, I think. But then the jungler's top side, so it gets a bit more awkward. Then I'm like, okay, maybe I should go there, but the tribush is warded. It's just very, very awkward. I ping them off it because I'm thinking uh, it's very, it's much better to just play with the Belveth. Or according with where the Belveth is. But eventually, I just cave. I'm like, okay, fine, we're fighting. So I come really late to the fight, but whatever. Um, always open with W, as I said, and get the E. Try to E him again, but he flashes. It's a bit awkward, but then we chase him down. WW, and ult. Easy peasy. Oh, missed the Q, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, well, they're still fighting. Let me take my ult shadow. Orn tries to jump on me, so I flash over it, knowing that I need to gap close onto these guys and kill them. Quick little triple kill. After that, we get Dragon, and I start pushing bot lane. My Tom Kedge is getting ganked. I'm thinking maybe I can save him if I just insta-recall, buy my cleaver, and then teleport. He actually wards as well, so I'm like, this is very, very good. So, we teleport. I buy cleaver, I buy a longsword. Use all my gold. Java flashes, and then I had to think for like half a second, wait, where did he flash? But then I just chase. And right here, I use W and I use melee range E's. So you just want to spam E once your W is on cooldown. Uh, and then you just get your W up faster, kill the Orn, and then this guy goes there. So I go in, and I ult on the Smolder, run him down. Then I didn't realize Milio is actually 1 HP right there. So I take my ult shadow, thinking that Milio was dead. But he was alive, so sad. So I end up recalling and going bot lane with the intent to take the tower, but I don't have teleport to help my team. So they actually overstay in mid lane trying to take the inhibitor, which is pretty bad. They get chased for a pretty long time. I'm thinking, well, this is completely fine. I'm not going to panic. I'm just going to go for the tier 2 tower, make sure I get the 700 gold from this, and then just keep pushing. Um, should be able to get a bunch. And right here, I can show you a combo to use on Huey. So I just W onto the wave. Take the W, ult, and then Q straight away, knowing that he's going to fear me anyways. Uh, w onto him, E and auto to kill him. And then I realized, oh, he has Seraphs. Well, lucky I killed him. Um, but yeah, you can buffer your Qs um, as you go in. I use W backwards on Orn. I spam spells, thinking this guy's pretty squishy. I'm going to kill him as well. Walk up, E auto attack, get my W back to use it backwards, and then Q profane auto again. Um, take the W to kill him. Uh, but yeah, I think against Huey... Uh, it's not too bad to just ult him and then spam Q because a lot of the time they don't time it like very perfectly so you can buffer your Qs which will help you kill him. I end up buying Sundered Sky instead of Edge of Night because I had Dirk and then Ruby Crystal and then I realized I could just buy Sundered straight away. Thinking is pretty good so I just buy it. And right here I want to flank so I want to go from the side from the Wraith camp straight onto Smolder, WW, Q auto E, go fain, kill him, ult onto this guy. E him again and kill him, get my W. I'll be onto the Milio, but then he flashes away. I'm like, ah, that's so annoying. Just W randomly, find them. I flash, so I flash and E them both to get my W again. W onto him, E him, and then E him again, get another W. Uh, you know, so it's just W, E, and then Q. And if you hit your Qs, your energy gets refunded. So it's pretty OP, kind of, if you're ahead, um, because this like really oppressive. And after that, I think we just end the game. Um, so I hit the towers, W on to him again, E him once and my W is already coming back up. And right now we're just going to play with them on the fountain. 
But the game is pretty much over, so yeah. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you guys found it useful in some way. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah.